for everybody who are watching the video on Falcone. I don't know who this is, but I like Sunny V2 and bro talking about it. And my shit might be bad right now because I just played the laggiest game of GTA ever. But let's check it out Every before now and I go. again, there's a creator that blows up on YouTube that makes you think, why do people like this so much? Damien Luck, who is also known as Fulcrum, has exploded to over 600,000 really? subscribers in just a couple of months. But his rise is unlike anyone else's. Fulcrum speak? has done the exact opposite of every YouTube standard set in place by the giant creators Be of the hated? platform. He doesn't have flashy thumbnails, he doesn't oh. have fast-paced editing, he doesn't make family-friendly content, oh. he isn't energetic, he, he really doesn't even everyone? have much of an agenda in each video. For two years straight, Fulcrum's content basically consisted of him walking around random public places, smoking grass, and talking about basically nothing for 10 to 15 minutes. I know that sounds like an overgeneralization, but you will learn today that it's not. Stay hydrated, especially when you're sick like me. Oh wait, did I you say most likely came across it for the first time I'm gonna text you, you see my bad, my bad. saying one of his iconic catchphrases. Fitty than a hole, fitty than a hole, fitty than a hole, fitty than a hole, fitty than a hole. Or maybe his intro it. greeting to his fans. Fulcrum, come in. Yo, yo gang, you feel me? These That's two slogans like, like, have huh? been stamped into internet culture and received the highest cosigns of XQC and Aiden Ross. But what did That's Damien him? Luck actually do to generate this large following in a short two months? Well, besides a very silly and intricate lore, he simply found his purpose. All I care about at the end of the day is pursuing my purpose and mission, real sh since the very beginning, Damien knew he had a greater purpose. He had his mind set on something bigger than his regular 9-to-5 job he was working at the time. I'm trying to make something pop off where I don't have to work, bro. Like, I feel like every time I'm at a job, I feel like it's not my purpose. But yeah, I'm not tripping because I know... <laughs> I know it's gonna work out. Everything's gonna fucking work out. I know that everything's working together for me on this YouTube and like on my content creation journey, you feel me? This mentality seems to be very common across creators I've covered in the past. White Boy Am and Aiden Ross both started their careers by preaching to their small audiences that they are going to make it. Without really knowing what their end goal was, they just tried to amass a following however they could. Okay. Damien's content in the beginning is exactly what it looks like on the surface. A stoner who makes videos of him getting lit, talking about grass, the papers, how dank and like... strong his product was. But most videos around the halfway point would be interjected with a motivational monologue. Every single one of y'all woke up today because you have a purpose and mission. They're truly trying to dumb us down. They don't want us to fucking be ourselves every single day. They're trying to distract us. They're trying to make us dumb. They're trying to make us obedient to the programming that's going on right now. Oh yeah? Interesting. You feel me? He was always very vague and never really went into detail about his passions, goals, or aspirations. Was his purpose to get faded for a living? Was it music? Because he also had a SoundCloud rap career brewing. Oh, he really? recorded and uploaded music consistently two years before he ever made YouTube videos. And he produced his own beats under the alias Fulcrum. By the way, the name Fulcrum comes from Damien's love for Star Wars. More specifically, Star Wars Rebels. Fulcrum was a code name assigned to several rebellion operatives to hide their identities. The idea was conceived of by Ahsoka Tano, who was the most prominent agent to have gone by Fulcrum. Phantom, this is Fulcrum. Come in. This is Spectre 2, Fulcrum. Damien may have started YouTube just to bring traffic to his music career, or maybe he just did it as a hobby. Either way, it wasn't working out for him. His videos were either being age-restricted or hidden from the algorithm because YouTube has had very strict rules regarding cannabis content since yeah, their inception. Seen, so his videos of him revealing strains, doing challenges, and basic smoke sessions were destined for failure. And when your content isn't featured on recommended, it's almost impossible to grow. Even with over 1 million subscribers, only 25% of my viewers are actually subbed. However, I noticed one loophole to this that Fulcrum was able to exploit. Blurring it Vapes. Up. Fulcrum oh. makes it very clear that this is dab oil inside of his vape, but the videos where he is only hitting a vape instead of a joint or bong are not age restricted, which resulted in him gaining higher views. The only logical explanation I can think of is that YouTube can't 100% confirm that he is guy. using cannabis <laughs> based on his device. <laughs> Since the devices Bro. look very similar to a nicotine pen, his Bro's video thing is Blinkers smoking. and Target gained him a little bit of buzz. You. This video consists of him well, walking I'm around it Target I don't know who this pen, is. otherwise known as his Penjamin. Do you know? A blinker is when he hits his pen for 10 seconds straight, which causes the light to blink. It's basically the biggest hit you can take. Yeah. Viewers love the ridiculousness of someone aimlessly walking around a public store vaping and not being bothered at all. But the anticipation of him getting caught kept them interested, as well as his positive, carefree attitude. After well over a year of consistent uploads, he was still at just 400 subscribers 
papers in early 2022, but he doubled down on doing the public sessions, doubled down on his silly word choices and catchphrases, and ultimately knew that he was going to fulfill his greater purpose. I made it my bad, I'm late. I'm faded than a hoe. Random college I was class. so nervous, I pissed myself too. Pissed myself. That's crazy. City history? Nope. Oh, shit. My, bad, my, bad. my bad. I'm tripping. I'm tripping. I was so nervous. I pissed myself too. You feel me? Shouts out to the Yodi gang. Fulcrum, come in. Yo, Yodi gang. You feel me? Does it go much further than that? Does it go much further than that? I'm uh, faded than a hoe. Have a good rest of your day, miss. It wouldn't be until August of 2022 where he started <laughs> to gain traction. And of course, it was TikTok. He started posting highlights from his videos with this insanely overblown plug sound effect. Come in. I should have seen him on TikTok. Memeing himself worked. He jumped up to 1,000 subscribers by the end of August. Staying yeah. consistent on TikTok, he reached 25,000 subscribers at the end of September consistent. and started to get clips uploaded to TikTok by random you found accounts, that funny, bro? which were earning hundreds of thousands of views. Link your city his you know this YouTube nigga? videos That's of him crazy. smoking in public slowly hit the algorithm. Meme pages all over TikTok were looking for good clips of his videos. Basically, everything he did was clip-worthy because the only times he would speak to the camera, he would say one of his iconic slogans, Faded than a hoe which refers to him getting stoned. Fulcrum, come in. Yes, you know, that's crazy. Gang, which is the name of his following. Know. Also, Yodi Land refers to the place his mind, body, and spirit goes when he is faded. This also could be a reference to Yoda from Star Wars, Jedi Master, who is wise, powerful, and always looks a little stoned. Damn, Yoda Benjamin looks City, or Blinker City, also referring I to getting faded Yoda, off his devices. Need I say more? Shall we? which is almost like him saying cheers to his audience. His viewers poke fun and say that these are his only dialogue options. Like he's a video <laughs> game character. Yodi gang, you feel me? Real shit. About a smacking tin the Benjamin one more time. Shall we? Cheers, my friends. Blinker city, Yodi gang. But a comedian having a catchphrase is a very old strategy. I guess I should do this, Gator Duh. These phrases permeated throughout the TikTok multiverse and into the daily lingo of Zoomers around the world. He exploded in October to 250,000 subscribers. The two biggest Twitch Damn. streamers, XQC and Bro, does that mean I gotta get consistent on TikTok? Probably Aiden should. Aiden Ross not. took a liking to him. Probably Cheers, should. <laughs> what, what up, Yodi Lamb? What up? Yo, what's good, Aiden? Aiden even invited him onto the stream, That's and they were live to over 100,000 people. I find it interesting that the first thing that Aiden said to Fulcrum is that he has great lore. Oh my god, you don't understand, you have a great lore. You Almost like he assumed right from the moment he met him that Fulcrum is most likely just a character or online persona. But if we go back to his earliest videos, he has been the exact same the entire time. That hasn't changed. Yeah, welcome to my second video on this channel. Yeah, this is gonna be smoking a joint as fast as I can. I hope y'all. He's just using more words this day. time. Today I'm about to smoke this. Exploding to 600,000 subscribers didn't change him one bit. The thing that makes Fulcrum so lovable is his respect and positive attitude towards everyone. He greets Probably everyone with a smile, is soft-spoken, calm, and even when he's pranking people, he does it with a level of consideration unlike most pranksters. Whenever he's asked to leave or- So it's never like that meme, uh, the prank, dot dot dot, why you mad the prank dot- Stop filming, he politely says okay and stops. That's strange. Oh. For sure, my bad, I'll respect you. My bad, my bad. I'm just out here in Yodi land, I forget sometimes. Okay. But you guys have a good day. In fact, we only ever saw him get angry one time. I'm just pouring up, you feel me? This 7-Eleven right now? Anyone know about trash in those 7-Eleven? What's, What's going, going on, you buying face, any of them? Get out of my fucking face, bro. Yeah? Get out of my fucking face, bro. No, you better not do shit. Do it on camera. Is that a scooter? The bro tried to hit him with the scooter. Positive affirmations. <laughs> I tried to hit him, him with the scooter. Brings viewers back crazy. every time. The other reason he is popular is Gen Z's love for what I call NPC humor. NPC stands for non-playable character, and it's basically the characters you find in story mode video games that just stand there and wait for Damn, you. I can't Interact oh, with them. A lot of pranksters these days act like they are the main character in real life, and all the people around them are just mindless, non-sentient bots that they can say and do anything. Yeah, I don't to. know who that is. You could look at this as a dark thing. 
Like these kids have no regard Yo, for what other the humans. Fuck, but bro? Fulcrum doesn't see it like that. You pushing that shit back? You just gotta think that everyone's an NPC, and that is not the case, bro. When you're interacting with motherfuckers in public, these motherfuckers are sentient. You feel me? They're human beings. They got their own complex lives of their own type. Bro, shit, just tossing my car like that. I don't that. be thinking that motherfuckers just be bots and NPCs in public, bro. You Plus, a lot of Fulcrum's pranks are self-deprecating, like the time he pretended to shit his pants in oh, Home Depot shit, from crazy. hitting the Benjamin too hard. Ultimately, the real reason people love Fulcrum is because he is authentic. They support him because they know he isn't trying to be something he isn't. Social media is full of people trying to portray their lives as something unauthentic, whereas Fulcrum is just your stoner friend that you can count on to uplift you Damn. while he gets faded That's in That's probably home. true. It's tomorrow season of I just to see with another banger. He's just a young brother out there trying to get smiles and faded. He's funny and genuine. This is the first time I've heard of him. But yeah, like, subscribe. See you guys later. Bye. I hope you have a good day or not.